Hi there Frecklicious family, welcome back to the channel Cooking with Frecklicious where I share my meat preparations with you guys and today I will be doing some curry cow food yes guys I will be showing you how I do my curry cow food so stay tuned and let's get started so guys here's my cow food that I've already gone ahead and wash and clean up ahead of time however I left one behind to show you exactly how I cleaned it up so would you go in and use my knife and scrape scrape right around and wash and wash and allow it to drain properly and then I'll, I will just add it in my pan here that all of my wash meat is in and so guys I am going to go right ahead and season my whole food and so I start off with my Goya all-purpose seasoning I'm using about a tablespoon of each of the seasoning that I have, that I'm have I have here some black pepper I'm growing black pepper Some garlic powder some Italian seasoning some total seasoning and I have here some some onion means I'm going to just dash a few Flakes of onion rings, onion meat here, and my meat, and I go right ahead into cutting up a scotch bonnet pepper. Chop some scallion. Chop an onion. Mm -hmm. 
So I chop a whole onion and add it to my cow foot. And I'm going to crush some garlic. In six cloves of garlic that's three that's gone already put in another three in and add some thyme So adding my better pack curry my better pack curry but here now I'll just use one single pack of the curry whenever I'm going to start whenever I'm going to start to cook my meat I have another pack of curry here that I'm just going to burn this curry before I start cooking my coffee so time for us to start rubbing up our meat I just get my gloves on. I will get into the bird. And guys, you can use whatever season that you have use whatever season you have at home don't have to be the same as what I have because we all know what we have in our individual cupboards at home so just use what you have but if it's curry you must add your curry powder to your meat or burn it in some instance okay so that's that guys and I'll just leave this and allow it to marinate and then I'll go right into cooking. So guys my cow food has been marinating so now I'm going to remove all the seasonings. Remove all the seasonings before I put them in my pot. wonderful so all that all of that is done now i'm going to go over to the stove where i can start to burn my curry because the pot is already on so i'm going to burn my curry and then put my meat in my pot so right guys my oil is already in my pot and it has been eaten up so now i'm going to burn my curry Remember now, I already had, I had already seasoned my cow food with just one pack of my curry, and I'm going to use the other just to burn the other one. And I'm not going to delay, guys. No delay. I am just going to go ahead and add my cow foot to my pot.
You just a quick pass around in the in the oil of the curry. And I will just cover and leave this for a while. Leave it for a while. It will just check some of the color before I start adding any water to it. So guys, I'm going to now add some water to my curry cow foot. But I'm not going to use cold water. Because I don't want to slow down the cooking of the, of the meat. So I have some water here and I just go ahead and put the first I first portion of water on my cow foot. And cover and I go to continue cooking. Guys, I'm going to add some more water to my cow foot, some more of my hot water to my cow foot, and allow it to continue cooking. Putting hot water on it, allow it to continue cooking, and as soon as it is softened up, guys, as soon as it is as soon as it is softened up, I'll come right back. Guys, my cow foot is still going. I did add some more water to the pot to allow for cooking, to allow for further cooking. It is coming. But it's not quite there as yet. No. It's coming, but it's not quite there as yet. About another hour, I'll give it before I add the seasonings to it. Because it still needs some more cooking. Okay. going to add the last set of water to this cow foot, allow it to cook some more before adding the seasoning. I am going to add the seasonings after this set of water. Okay, so we're going in again, check it on our on the cold foot to see where it's at. Okay. 
it's looking great so far guys and it is smelling awesome so let me check the tenderness of the meat yes so I can go ahead and add my seasonings and a little more water Adding all the seasonings. Give a taste. It can take a little more salt, a little bit more salt, but instead of adding salt to it, I'm going to add one of my seasonings that already has been salt. My Goya, all purpose season have been salt. I'm going to put a dash of my Goya, all purpose season on it. And then I'll just taste again. on the sides all of this niceness that, that, that has accumulated on the side of the pot want to get it down and into the pot I'm going to taste again and just add a little more water great 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 I'm going to go ahead and still add some of my some of the hot water that I had over here. I'm going to add it to my pan. Add it to the pan that my meat was seasoned in. And just pour it on my meat. Give it another stir. And I'll and allow the cooking process to continue it is already cooked but I've just put the seasonings in and a dash more all-purpose seasoning and I'm just going to leave that and allow it to continue everything just coming together season and all just coming together okay guys so my my curry cow foot is actually finished cooking and now it's time to serve a plate there you have it guys my curry cow foot so there it is guys my curry cow foot And guys, I serve this up with some plain rice and some steamed pop choy. Bon appetit! So there you have it guys my curry cow foot thanks for tuning in guys and thanks for your support to the channel and for those who have not yet done so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn your post notification bell on to see when i upload new videos bon appetit and i hope you will enjoy this meal as much as all we are going to enjoy it 
and guys we will see you in the next video